Hello, welcome back to Global. I'm John Sopel. Now, if Abercrombie and Fitch made clothes for animals, well, they probably wouldn't want to make them for this particular rodent. It is ugly. But these rodents could hold the key to preventing or perhaps treating cancer in humans. Unlike rats and mice, these naked mole rats don't develop cancer later in life. And US researchers say their skin cells stop tumours developing in their tracks. Well, to explain more about this, I'm joined by Helen Briggs from our health and science team. Uh, thanks for being with us. I hope you're not wearing Abercrombie. Well, I don't care if you're wearing Abercrombie and Fitch, to be honest. Um, the mole rat. The mole rat, yes. Why is it so interesting? Well, as you say, it won't win many beauty contests, but <laughs> to scientists, it's very, very lovely. Now, that's because it's a very, very strange creature. In Africa, it lives in burrows underground. It's got no fur. It's got very long teeth for digging. And it lives for a very long time. It lives for about 30 years. The average rat or mouse lives for about four years. Um, and also, it never seems to get cancer. So scientists have been intrigued by this. and They don't quite know why, but now they've gone a step further. And they found that in the skin, there's a substance uh, that seems to account for the fact that it doesn't get cancer. Now, they've grown up its cells in the laboratory. they found this gooey-like sugar. Now, we all have this sugary substance. It's involved in tissue healing and repair. But in this naked mole rat, it's a much bigger chemical. It's got a very long string of sugars. And they think that is what is stopping it getting cancer. Well, so lucky mole rat that it doesn't get cancer. But is this any of this applicable to humans, and if so, how? Well, of course, it's, it's very early days, um, but it does give scientists some sort of clues in terms of where to look next. So they're going to do some more experiments um, on this chemical. And intriguingly, a, a similar version, it's not quite the same. It's, it's more like the version in other creatures, not the version of the naked mole rat. It is already used in some medicines, so it's used in antiarthritis injections for the knee and intriguingly it's also used in anti-wrinkle fillers for plumping out the skin. So, so, this, so they're, they're already kind of a, a way, they, you know, this is not a new discovery that the mole rat is an interesting creature. This is, they, they, we've been using bits from the mole rat before in terms of this, this gooey substance, well, but now we're applying it to cancer. Is that the big Yeah, difference? well, we've used um, this, this chemical hyaluronin before um, in treatments, but as I say, this is a new discovery with the new mole, with the naked mole rat, and they do need to do much, much more work to see whether it could become some sort of treatment for cancer. So that's probably years down the line. It's a long way away, but they will start more experiments to look at, at whether um, something more can be done in terms of drug development. Helen, fascinating. Thank you very much indeed for coming to explain.